I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are playing with die cuts. We are going to be using a few items that are new over at the Paper Tray Ink Shop. This is the Into the Blooms Geranium die set. It creates the most prettiest geraniums and it's a layering so it just adds that extra detail. And then I'm also going to be using the Love to Layer Charming Brackets. Um, this is a three piece bracket set but each of these um, these dies have beautiful detail in them and I'm going to cut out each one of them so you can actually see all the detail in it. So we'll be using these from the new release to create my card. We're going to first create a background and I'm going to bring in another die set from Paper Tray Ink. This is the cover plate, the decorative circles. Such a pretty, this is what it looks like. So pretty, but I'm going to die cut this out with white cardstock for my background. And it is an A2 panel. And I'll run this through my die cut machine and then we'll adhere this to our card base. This is what it looks like with white. And there is some dotted detail in here, which makes it extra special. I'm going to flip it around and just using my tape runner, I'm going to go along the edges. You can use glue if you wanted to. I think um, we're going to adhere this to the front of our card base. Wonderful. Okay, so our background is done. I'm going to put this away and then we are going to create our geraniums. Since we're going to die cut our, we're going to do ink blending for our geraniums today. This is great with colored cardstock or if you want to ink blend, it's all it's great also. But I'm going to use white cardstock and die, I haven't even separated my dies. I'm just going to keep them together. Um, and we'll die cut out all of them at one time for our ink blending. And now with our Love to Layer Charming Brackets, I'm going to take some colored cardstock. This is Paper Tray Inks cardstock. This is Limeade Ice and this is Berry Sorbet. And we will take our first one, our largest, and we're going to take this and die cut this out with the Berry Sorbet. The second size I'll die cut out with my Limeade Ice. And then for my third circle, I'm going to die cut this out with white cardstock. So I'll run these through my die cut machine and then we'll put together some geraniums. I have everything die cut out. Um, this is the, the flower stamen. You can see it's still in here. I'm going to leave it in there because I want to color that and it's easier to go over one solid piece versus the itty bitties. So we'll just keep that in there. But see there's not too many pieces to the geranium. This one and this one are actually leaves. And then these create two flowers and I'll show you how to do that. Um, before we do our ink blending, I have, I wanted to share with you how pretty the detail is in the Love to Layer Charmy Brackets. You see the detail, how it's doubled up on the dotted detail? So pretty. And then we have the middle one. This one has that itty scalloped edge, dotted detail, and then it also has deboss detail. So pretty. I'm going to actually layer all three of these together. That's a, that'd be a cute card with making this just a flower. You also have this last circle and I'm going to try and see if the light will, will hit it. There's dotted detail on there which is so pretty. And if you were to layer all these three together and just add a stem and put it on the card, I think that's a cute in itself. But I'll layer all three of these together and then I'm going to place this in the center of my card base. So far we don't have any dimension, but when you look at it, there's quite a bit of dimension. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start by doing a little ink blending with our geraniums now. And I have some inks. I'm just using two inks today. This is Berry Sorbet. It's actually the same color as this larger um, bracket. And then I also have Simply Chartreuse. It's about one shade darker than the Limeade Ice. Just those two colors. Since these are smaller areas, I'm going to bring in my finger daubers. And I'm also going to bring in one more ink for my stamen. 
I'm going to use my Harvest Gold for my stamen. We're going to go and take our berry sorbet, pick up a little ink, and I want I want it to be, let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see, I want it to be a little bit more softer on the inside. So I'm going heavy on the edges and kind of fading in towards the middle, leaving a little bit of the white area showing. Like that, I just think that's really soft and pretty. And I'm gonna continue with these three pieces here. So our flowers are done. We'll put this ink off to the side and we're going to bring in our Simply Chartreuse. And then we're going to go over the stems and the leaves doing the same thing. There is deboss detail in these, which is so pretty. And that's all there is to it. One last thing before we um, start to put together our geraniums, I'm going to go ahead and use my Harvest Gold. I'm not even going to bring in a finger dauber. I'm going to go directly from my mini ink pad, and I'm just going to go over the flower stamens here. like so. So our stamen is done. I'm going to push these out here. Now there's so many different ways you can create your geraniums, but I'm going to do it the way um, you could, you could use two layers of this, stack them together. You could use two layers of this, stack them together, but I'm going to stack these two together. So you can arrange your geraniums at your heart's content. I'm going to kind of fluff up the petals a little bit, and then I'm going to add this. Kind of twisting and turning it until I'm happy with my placement. And I think that looks good. Let me show you. And now for this one, I'm going to add a dot of glue at the base here. I'll pick up my flower petal. We'll add that. I'm going to add a little dot of glue at the bottom of my flower petal. And then we're going to add a dot of glue to the left and right of it. And then I'll add this bottom piece. Wonderful. And then that is that one. Now all we have to do is add our stamen. There's one stamen that has the bigger one. We'll put in the bigger flower. And then this smaller one. It's like a, this is like a top view, and then this is like a side view. And then those are good. Now we're going to attach our, our um, greenery. I'll add a little glue, and I'll add my flower here to this one. And then I'll add my flower here to this one. I think that's that looks nice. And then we'll add our stems. And those are our geraniums. I just think they're just so lovely. Look how pretty.
Now I fluffed up the, the flower petals and to keep them up I'm going to be using some small foam squares. So I'm going to remove the release paper here. I'll put a small foam square behind this flower petal. That way it stays stays fluffy. <laughs> and then I'll do the same thing to just a couple of these. So we have a little dimension to our flowers and it's not going to flatten. We're going to go ahead and adhere our flowers. Now we need a sentiment. So for that, I'm bringing in my Lots of Hugs stamp set. Love this stamp set. If you guys are looking for a nice sentiment stamp set that has hugs, this is perfect because you have all the big scripty block letters, so many different size hugs, but then you also have sentiments that go with it that you could add on the inside, outside, and then you have some banners too. I just love this set. It does have a coordinating die set to go with it. Now I'm going to be using this hugs here and I'm going to follow it with the sentiment that says, um, so my sentiment will say hugs and, and kisses and get well wishes because we need pretty get well cards. My husband actually has a little bit of a flu bug. So we'll make a get well. Well, this won't be for him, but we'll make a get well. We'll have a get well card in our arsenal. Okay, we'll take both of those. Now, so far we're just two different tones, so I'm going to bring in a bright ink. I'm going to bring in my Hawaiian Shores. And we will go ahead and stamp this on a piece of white cardstock. This Hugs actually has a little bit of a distressed look to it. Looks like I might need to re-ink my ink pad. Okay, we will go ahead and stamp this. Wonderful. And I'll take the coordinating die and I will die cut this out and then I'm also going to take a piece of foam and I'll die cut out the, the hugs with foam also. I also stamped my, my secondary sentiment. We're going to go ahead and layer our hugs on our foam for a little bit of dimension. is such a pretty font. I'll flip this around. I will add some glue behind here and we will add this to our card base. For finishing touches I'm going to bring in the paper tray ink I think these are called Snow White confetti. It's confetti. There's no there's no holes in it. I'm going to add a few just using glue here. And that finishes off my card today super pretty card. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your week. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.